Hello! In this video, we are going to explore ESPNOW, an RF protocol which can be used instead of Wi Fi communication on the same principles but works a little bit different. We are talking about the proprietary uh, system or method to communicate between two ESP. Uh, 32s, which is uh, original for expressive. We will do uh, our program in ESP IDF 5 and above, because uh, in the previous versions the abbreviation a little bit different. Uh, our hardware setup is as following. We have an uh, ESP32 connected to PC1, another ESP32 connected to PC2 and between those two ESPs we will send an RF message via ESP now protocol. So we will transmit from PC2 from this PC to the ESP and read the data via USB on PC2. So this is a transmitter and this is a receiver. One slide regarding the ESP now. If we are looking on this, on the seven layers model, an OSI model, we can see that the physical layer are the same. The same use the 2.4 gigahertz communication, which is used in Wi-Fi. Both of them on the second layer use the MAC address. So basically the ESP now is communicated between MAC addresses. All other uh, layers of communication from 3 to 7 are not used and it ends from MAC address to MAC address. So to, sum to summarize, ESP now establishes direct communication between devices using their MAC addresses without relying on traditional Wi-Fi network layers but the first two layers rely on the Wi-Fi uh, uh, basis. Like always, we will start from uh, our uh, GitHub repository, where we are using the free Artos ESP IDF ESP now. And we have here two files. First one is the TX, which is a transmitting, and the second one is a receiving. We will take the transmit file here on this PC, on PC1, and copy it to our project. Okay, we got it here. We will run it. In a parallel, we can talk about it a little bit. So the basic includes. Here we got the destination MAC address. You can see here the local MAC address here. The program is finding the local MAC address of my ESP and printing it on the screen. This is a MAC address of the ESP connected to this computer. This MAC address here is the destination MAC address that we find on the other computer and uh, we will see how we will do it basically with the same program. You can see now the program is sending the ESP now message to this uh, to this MAC address and the status is fail. It's failed because we didn't uh, start it the second computer. But let's go, go over it. Uh, here we got the callback callback function which is called on the transmission and reading send MAC address status. What we you can see here. This function is the basic Wi-Fi initiation functions, which is the same for the Wi-Fi. And we are using it here in, in main application. This patch of code here, from here to uh, all this, is just to find our local MAC address in order to find what MAC address we are using. The all ESP now protocol can be summarized in few lines of code. First, we, we initiate ESP now, then we register it and starting the callback function, we, we, we define the 
destination device, the peer device, and by by connecting the relevant MAC address with a number of uh, of uh, of numbers inside the MAC address, we define that we are working on Wi-Fi channel one number one, which is the same as here. You can see it here, channel number one. Uh, it uh, have to match, otherwise it won't work. And uh, we choose not to inscript it, inscript it, and then we add a peer, add a destination. Then we're just running an infinite loop and sending hello, hello via ESP now. This is the only command that we're using: ESP now send the destination, message, and the length of the message. Now, let's go to the second computer and uh, start the receiver side of the equation. Okay, now we're on the PC number two, which, connected to, which is connected to the second ESP. We enter to our GitHub, GitHub and uh, concentrate on the ESP now receive file. This is the ESP now receive file, and we copy add it to our project here. And so let's run it. Basically, it's the same includes with a very similar similar uh, uh, callback function, which is printed what was received. We have the same Wi-Fi initiation with the channel number one Wi-Fi channel channel number one. We initiate the Wi-Fi, initiate the ESP now, find the local MAC address, print the local MAC address for our use, and then we receive, this is the only command, they receive the message. That's it. Okay, now you can see this is our local MAC address, which we can put in our sending, sending a program we already did it and uh, we receiving the message remember that the previous esp is sending messages continuously so the reception of the message hello vsp now is achieved and it is achieved from this mac address from the first esp connected to the first pc so this thing is working correctly now we are going going to the back to the first PC just to see that everything is uh, went okay over there. Okay, now we return to our first PC, the one who transmits the message, and you see here the beginning of the program. It was fail, 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 fail. The status is fail, but let's see. Okay. And now you see from the time that we connected the second computer, the, the one that receives the message, we get a status success. And till now, the status is success. Here we uh, compa compile this program again, so it have a, a little bit fails, but now it's a continuously successful. So we demonstrated how to send an ESP now message using Wi-Fi level one and two with two MAC addresses from one ESP32 to the second ESP32 in ESP IDF 5.0 and higher. Thank you.